So I want to say hello. Welcome, everybody. It's Earth Day today. There's Ian. He can just hop on in over here. What's up, Ian? Hello. All right, so I'm really happy that you guys chose to take the time today to actually spend some time with nature. I know our lives are really fast-paced, and we've always got things to do and, and thoughts to worry about. Uh, but today, you're going to take two and a half hours to put all those thoughts on the back burners and to bring some attention, some awareness, and some gratitude to the earth that, that supports you every single day. My name is Allison. I'm a nature therapy guide. Um, I have been guiding for the last about two and a half years. And I want to know first, does anybody know what forest bathing is or has been on a forest bathing walk before? Raise your hand if you have. Yes. Okay. Amazing. Nice. All right. Well, forest bathing is actually a Japanese practice that originated in the 1980s. Uh, this orig originated during a time when Japan was really stressed. Their healthcare system was getting way overwhelmed because of how hard everyone was working and their health was really plummeting. So they invested a lot of money, um, energy, resources into figuring out how can we make our population healthier and happier. And one of the things they realized was that immersing oneself in nature by and far over everything else they tried is something that really impacts human health in a good positive way. As if we needed science to tell us that, because we already know that whenever we go outside, we feel good. Um, but they have actually determined with all the numbers that it does in fact make us feel happier. Not only that, but whenever we feel connected to nature, we also feel a little more responsible for protecting it. So that's one of the reasons why I do what I do here as a guide. Uh, now today, we're gonna be going just a short ways into the forest. We're gonna be spending some time out there in the open fields. I'm going to be offering you a series of invitations. And now that's a very deliberate word choice because these invitations are not meant to be strict rules for you to abide by. They're meant to be suggestions of ways that you can interact with the environment. These invitations will usually involve the senses, so your sense of touch, your sense of smell. I'm not gonna go tell you to eat random plants, <laughs> but there will be an opportunity to taste nature at the very end. So that'll be a little kind of cliffhanger there. What does that mean? <laughs> um, but these sensory invitations are meant to be playful. They're meant to be explored in whatever way feels right for you. So don't get caught up in the idea of right and wrong because there is no wrong way to be here today. Okay, um, now we will be gathering for sharing circles, similar to this, although right now Amelia was speaking, but there's gonna be lots of opportunity today for y'all to share with each other about what you're noticing today and about maybe how you're feeling about the experiences today. I used to think that nature was a solo thing. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. And yes, there are tons of allergens out. <laughs> so that's why I'm like clinging to my snot rag over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I used to think that nature was a me thing, you know, like for the longest time. I'd always go on these hikes uh, as long as possible. I'm like, if I could just go more days without seeing another human being, I will feel more connected to nature. But it turns out <laughs> that nature isn't really about the quantity of time that you spend out there by yourself. It's more about the quality of time that you spend. And whenever you actually share that experience with other people, it really allows it to sink deeper and to be more meaningful and impactful. At least that's what my experience has been since I started guiding these forest banding walks. So maybe you'll feel that today as well. Uh, whenever we're sharing, we're gonna make sure that we're keeping it lean of expression, meaning we don't need a whole paragraph. Try to get down to the essence of what you're feeling, of what you'd like to share, so that other people have time to speak as well. Whenever you are speaking, you're speaking from the heart as opposed to the mind. And that's an interesting one to take in. Whenever somebody else is sharing, you are listening. And if you're thinking about what you're gonna say as they're talking, you're no longer listening. So trust that whenever it becomes your time to speak, whatever needs to be said will in fact be said because it's coming from the heart. Um, there is some poison ivy out here. I always like to touch on some of the hazards. Does everybody know what poison ivy looks like? No. If it has three leaves, don't touch it. I will be offering you guys today to perhaps touch some things, but if there's a plant with three leaves, just don't do it. <laughs> um, that's the best way to, to kind of navigate. Um, I want you all to share with the group what your name is, where you were born, and then 
<laughs> and then if you could be reincarnated as a plant anywhere in the world, what plant would you want to be and where would you want to grow? It's out there. I know. You could literally be like, I want to be this plant right here. Or like, maybe it's the plant that's at your home. Or like, maybe you just want to be on the coast of California because it's beautiful out there. You could just be a little grass just swaying in the wind. You know? Don't overthink it too much. Uh, my name is Allison. I am actually born here in Austin. And if I could be reincarnated as a plant, I think I'd want to be a sunflower because it's just really happy and it's okay if yours also is a sunflower okay, right. because everyone wants to be a sunflower okay it's, it's the happiest of all the plants we're just happy all the time um and where would i like to be i think like my heart oh no the redwoods the redwoods there's gonna be a sunflower in the middle of a redwood grove that's where i would want to be i'm gonna pass it this away <laughs> hello all right i'm guessing you're here for forest bathing okay cool I'm just in, you just in time. What's your presence actually is a mindfulness meditation. So we're going to take this opportunity to slow down, to tune in, to drop in and to arrive in this place. So before we get started, I want you all to start bringing some awareness to your breath. You might choose to close your eyes for this so that you can really tune in. But not trying to change anything just yet. Just simply notice the pace of the breath. If it's fast or if it's slow. Noticing if it's shallow or if you're breathing into your diaphragm through your belly. Allowing yourself to slow down the breath. Perhaps making the exhales longer than the inhales. comfortable. You can lay down if that feels right for you. And know that at any time you are free to move and shift and change positions in whatever feels comfortable for you in the moment. Now noticing those slight subtleties of the sensations in your body. Starting with the external sensations, perhaps the breeze, brushing your arms, the feeling of the twigs and rocks, Perhaps the difference of the skin that has clothes and the skin that's exposed to the air. And perhaps even more subtle than that, tuning into how are you feeling today? You know, I don't mean this as the standard cliche that you get as a greeting from a stranger. But truly answering for yourself, what am I feeling in this moment? Being honest with yourself, 
Perhaps that feeling might be stress. It might be anxiety. Perhaps it's curiosity or a sense of joy. What are you bringing with you on this forest bathing walk today? Now, forest bathing is a practice of being, not a practice of doing. So today we're gonna lean into the art of just being present and allowing whatever is to simply be. And that includes whatever feelings that you're feeling. Now bringing your awareness to the sounds around you. Some of them we might perceive as nature or non-nature. And just simply noticing those perceptions. And relax into the noticing of the sounds as just sounds. Perhaps even deepening your breath and noticing how you become a part of the soundscape around you. Bringing your awareness to your sense of smell. When we arrived here, the smell was so noticeable. Can you still notice it now? Perhaps just noticing the subtle difference of the freshness of the air when you're outdoors. Now bringing that awareness back to your breath. Noticing if it feels any different than it did whenever you sat down. And taking a moment to reflect on an intention for your time here today. Your intention could be to practice being present, to express gratitude for the earth, to show yourself love by taking this time to slow down. We're gonna set that intention and we're gonna hold it loosely in the backs of our minds as we go about our forest bathing walk today. Now, if your eyes are closed, I will soon invite you to open them and when you do, I invite you to open them 
so, so slowly. And as you begin to take in your surroundings, thinking about seeing everything for the very first time, the wonder and awe that you would experience having never been in this place before. Now, as you feel ready to do so, you may slowly and gently open your eyes. And taking in your surroundings. Noticing that there's movement that you can see even when you don't feel the wind. The little critters that are constantly buzzing <laughs> if you look close enough. And just the colors and the textures of everything around you. Taking one more deep breath. Let's breathe this one in and out together. We're gonna breathe in and let it go. And we are now going to join for our first sharing circle. So we're gonna go around this circle and share, what are you noticing? Would anybody like to start? What are you noticing? Everything is in beautiful trees and the color and the blue, blue sky. And the color it is just from the breeze and how it moves. That's the first thing, so I don't need to go do anything else, but that was so beautiful. Amazing. We'll go in a circle. Alexis? Uh, I'm noticing more apprehension. Um, and distraction than usual. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the force bathing a lot because I always feel like whatever's going on in life, I figure it out. So that's my intention for today. Because mm -hmm. I really had to battle through like being present and not being distracted. I am noticing that this little spider <laughs> had crawled on my leg when I first started talking and I had my eyes closed and I looked down and it's still hanging out with me. And I think it's because my leggings are green. Um, I'm noticing just calmness and stillness of where I'm at right now. And kind of realize. Inevitably, during this time, we're going to be doing this for about 10 minutes. At some point, your brain is going to start going somewhere else. And when you notice that, just try to bring yourself back to that intention of looking for what's in motion. Now, one of my favorite parts about forest bathing, <laughs> Alexis knows what's coming, is in order to return everybody back together, as folks are scattered throughout the forest, it can be a little tricky, so I like to do it by a coyote howl, all right? <laughs> so whenever it's time to come back, you're going to hear, ow, ow! And when you hear that, I encourage you to respond with a howl yourself because there might be folks who are further than uh, that they can't hear my howl, so maybe they'll hear yours. And plus, it is just so fun to hear howling echoing through the woods. <laughs> okay, if um, I'm gonna make sure, if you do need to leave today, by the way, let me know. It's totally okay if you need to leave, but if, please don't leave during the invitation because then I'll be howling for you. And <laughs> 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 but if I really cannot find somebody, this is a deer horn whistle. I will blow it. It sounds very loud. So if you hear what sounds like a coaching whistle, that means come back. Okay? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm going to give you all about ten minutes. You may wander out. Um, and I encourage you to move very slowly as you discover what's in motion. That could be either in this moment or during the previous invitation. 
Does anybody feel called to start? I notice everywhere you look, if you stay still enough, you can find something that's moving. Okay. Yeah, that is awesome. And as we speak, we're, this is going to be our talking piece. So whenever you get it, give it a little rub. Mmm. Oh, oh, but yeah, I already hit him up. I can't. Speak just enough. rub, rubbing it in your face. Like we don't need to rub anything else in your face at this point. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's pass that. Um. Oh no, I just. This whole world down here, you see in this. <laughs> Um, so it's so great to be able to share in that with other people, because uh, so frequently I'm just out here like wishing I could show people all these cool things. <laughs> uh, well, I am quite the playful spirit, and I really felt inclined today to do a scavenger hunt. Oh. All right, so, <laughs> um, so we are going to pair up. We're going to have a partner. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna find as many of the things on this card as we can. Um, if it is something that you can collect, like say the color red, like maybe if there is a flower on the ground and there are a plentitude, plentitude, multitude, multitude of other red flowers around it, then I think it'd be okay to pick that flower, but be mindful of the things that you're collecting, like whether it's if it's a home for something else, um, leaving it for other people to appreciate, other animals to appreciate. But you can either collect the item or even take a picture of it with your phone um, as a way to collect it. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna come back with some of our with some of our treasures and some of our stories, and we're gonna get to share those. Do we yell or howl bingo? There is no, it's not, it's not bingo. It, it does look like bingo because it's kind of in like a grid, but no, this is just going to be a scavenger hunt. And this, let me clarify, is not a competition. We're not going to be like, hey, congratulations, you won the scavenger hunt. You get an extra cup of tea later. <laughs> um, this is just for fun sake, for, for the sake of the presents. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were putting that in your bra for later. I had to clarify. Okay. Here's a card for you, too. We're having to switch. And first share something that we're, we're grateful for, whether that's something that you have. And actually, maybe we should start with the fuzzy thing. Let's go completely out of order is what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we have here the fuzzy. Yeah. The fuzzy. He's a good fuzzy. He's the OG. You yes. truly know if it's fuzzy if you haven't touched it. But, but you shouldn't. We have, have fuzzy. <laughs> no, have you have other fuzzy. Are they poisonous? I've heard that as well. I, I have picked them up and haven't had any issues, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Apparently, there's a, there's this one time where I was playing with a caterpillar for a long time, and um, then I posted it on a bug identification Facebook group, and immediately people were saying, that's the most venomous caterpillar in North America. And I was like, wow, I was playing with it for 10 minutes. like <laughs> spiky ones. They're like yeah, I don't know if that was the one. It had something. It was one that it was that one had some yellow in it. This one definitely has yellow in it. Yeah. She's like, That's the most right, what other caterpillar in North America. <laughs> what other fuzzy textures did we find out there? Okay, there's this thing. I don't know what this is, oh, but cool. it's yeah, kind of fine. it's kind of fuzzy. It's a, oh yeah. It's a, it's a, Funny guys, before. We move on yeah. to the final invitation. Do you guys have your music makers? <laughs> oh, here's another piece of Mark Crash. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're from Music Makers. I'll take that for you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there we go. We can do that here. We're here. I don't want to cut my Oh, the brick. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hit it on the brick. Hit it on the brick and too, it might make more noise. Oh no, we were trying to make our music. Oh, thing. that's your music maker? Yeah, because it's kind of yeah. hollow. That Sounds better on the ground. There you go. That reminds me of those little like there was like these little <laughs> fish <laughs> things in elementary school oh, that yeah. we used. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. Oh, like afterwards. Yeah. Oh, Everybody have to get That was very cathartic. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, 
was good. Alexis. Yeah, those. That was like the. <laughs> that was the, the backbone of the beat right there. Yeah, we had our backbone tribe. of the beat. Like, yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. everybody. everybody. Oh. We can make some art I with this. Definitely commend. It. So my mom always oh. says. And by the way, if you haven't been able to tell, oh, this yeah. is actually my mom. Um, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> unrelated to her being here, um, I reflected on on how she always wants me to write thank you notes to relatives. Can you guys relate to that? No. no. <laughs> What's a thank you note? What's a thank you note? <laughs> right. In this day and age. It's a good idea. It's like this... This um this message to somebody of, of your gratitude, right? Of your appreciation. And it means so much to receive a thank you note. And well, anything in the mail. Yes. Personal. Well, it's literally, it's just the act of sitting down and writing and like reflecting on, on what you're thankful for. So, you all are going to write a thank you note to the earth. You can do this in whatever way feels right for you. You could literally just say thank you in a smiley face. You could write a poem if you wish. You could think about all the things that you're grateful for or perhaps the experiences that you've had today during these last couple hours and write about that. Maybe you could even draw a picture or something, but whatever feels right for you, you're gonna express your gratitude to the earth today. I have a thank you note for you. There's nothing written in it because that's what you're gonna be writing with. You're gonna go find a spot can I stay Out here? Out in nature. You can stay here because I'll be leaving. I encourage you to be by yourself. And before you get started, I would encourage you to do what I like to call reciprocity breathing, where you take a moment again to settle in. I know there's been a lot of excitement here. Take a moment to think about your breath, but not just your breath. Think about how your breath is actually feeding the life around you. <laughs> As you breathe out, you're giving life, and as you breathe in, you're taking life. And there's this, this reciprocity between you and nature. Once you kind of focus on that and get those those feelings of gratitude, find a way that feels good for you to put something in this I have card. A question. Yes. Uh -oh. Why is everything sticking to your leg over there? That's yeah, look at that. It's oh, crazy, over there, huh? it's to your skin. Yep. Well, I don't know. It's, I can understand your stretchy stuff. That's it's, weird. Nature just loves me. Okay. <laughs> and loves Albert's nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so y'all can go wherever you'd like. Um, you can stay here. I encourage you to give others some space. And again, we're going to be out here once you get to the main trail to the right. There's going to be a big field. There's a batting cage. You won't be able to miss it. But I won't howl. So I just want to take this time to appreciate the word and everything in it. I was supposed to be writing this card. And instead of writing a card, I just thought I'd make a video. Since I'm not that good with writing, I'm better at talking, I guess. So I want to take this time to appreciate this word and everyone in it and all the magical places and all the magical people and all the magical plants and all the magical things and all things of this war because everything in this war is here for a reason, our purpose. And every plate thing is here for and how beautiful it all is for like somehow magically working together in some type of way, even though sometimes that is difficult. Um I look, you know, I appreciate the, the the birds in the sky and the sky and the the sunset over here, you know, which is maybe not part of the earth, but part of this universe, and how unique and beautiful we are, even though we are so very ordinary, you know, like this this earth is just like any other planet in the solar system. In a solar system just like any other solar system you know there's so many solar systems so many planets so many places just like we us but somehow we are special and unique and um because this is where we are and this is our life and our lives that live here on this one world and uh that's pretty awesome and 
you know, that we have this very small bit of dusk that's floating through an endless span of space, and that's the only one we got. But we have infinite potential to expand our society beyond it. We just want to protect it and, um, and appreciate it for what it really is. I just want to take this time to just appreciate the earth for all the beauty and all the places it give, all the birds, these turtles that live in, in the water, the fish that lives in the water, water, the bugs that fly along the land, the spiders, the creatures, all these little things that we don't, that take for granted or may to make this world what it is. Um, and I like to take this little bit, moment and appreciate it, just being here today to appreciate it all. And so, yeah. Um, I should probably wa write something in this card. And I should, after I edit the video, I should think about what to write. Take some more time to write this. Or it seemed like it took me a little bit more time in school to write my, uh, my assignments. But, you know, but with a little bit of help, I managed to do it. You can move if you want, just throw it in there. There'll be like one cow versus six coyotes. <laughs> Alright, on the count of three. One, two, three. circle um, our tea ceremony now we have really been interacting with nature through the senses right um, touching things and smelling things and, and making music and we haven't really gotten to taste anything but I have actually made here for us a juniper berry lemonade so the juniper which we see all over it is abundant here they have these small berries that are very herbal in flavor, um, lots of antioxidants. They're not very sweet like you would normally think of a berry, um, but they have, yeah, that this kind of herbal flavor that I have made a simple syrup with and infused with some lemonade for us to not only be able to interact with nature through our four senses, but through our five senses and also to allow the things that we've learned today to really be assimilated in like a physical sense. So this is the time for for things to become incorporated both uh, figuratively and literally. Now we're going to go around for one more sharing circle and this time it's share whatever you feel you need to to make this experience complete. You might choose to share your, what are you putting here? Okay, yeah, um, you might you might choose to share your uh, your poem or your thank you card um, or just anything that is lingering on your mind that you'd like to share with the group. Would anybody like to start? Can I throw this to you? It's our talking piece. Um, I think this is this has been experienced, but really a magical journey through the forest, and I really appreciate you taking the time to show us nature like maybe nobody ever took the time to appreciate before. I think it's really important to appreciate nature and to make, you know, some new friends along the journey. Um, 
I'm Eric the Dream Giver. I'm going to be posting this a more edited, concise journey on my channel. I'll tag her in it, and if you might want to look for it, that'd be really appreciated. Um, it's Eric the Dream Giver. That's easy to remember. Um, and and you guys are welcome to get my information if you come up to me afterwards. So I was watching it and just it just kept going around and around. And there was one of the participants had their dog. It was this beautiful golden retriever. Um, and he was just total dog-like demeanor, you know, just getting excited over everything. And he like ran over to me through the field of flowers and was all excited. And I immediately was like, no, like stop. Like you can't. You can't hurt this spider web, man. Like I was, I felt like it was my responsibility to protect this spider since I had looked at it. It's like I had built this relationship with this spider. And like, I just really had this, I had already thought of this before, but it was very, very, like I was very aware of it in this moment that whenever you establish a relationship with something, like you want to protect it. Like I'm getting goosebumps right now. It's like every time you come out into nature and you notice it and you look at it and you appreciate it and you touch it and you watch it, like you feel this thing of like, this is beautiful and I care about it. And so especially on a day like Earth Day, I think it's so amazing that y'all decided to come out here and do something like this. Um, because yeah, we, we need to care more so that we can, so that we can see Earth. Oh, I don't know. I'll just, I'm just picturing the golden retriever face coming up. Like, no! Stuff. Wow. <laughs> just wow. As you can see, I did not write your thing. I didn't note. figure you would. No, but I wrote really big, 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 long text. Text? I text. To us? Thank you, too, with all my emojis. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> but I was so taken. It? Can Siri read it? <laughs> no. Oh, no, you don't. Siri, read no, no, this message. No, no. <laughs> they, I'm like I do a lot of emojis and they just showed me over the weekend we went to Dallas and they said Siri read mom's text and it was like emoji this emo it, it, this emoji that emoji oh it was awful it was horrible <laughs> and, so, so my thank yous on here but I'm just oh thank you so very much I enjoyed this so much and this was so this togetherness and just enjoying everything I won't talk a whole lot I'll just say okay, okay but just thank you so much it's been such a delight I I also made a thank you in the form of a video. I just tears in my eyes. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so emotional. Um, I did write something. Honey tree. Each bit of mud and stick and stone is blood and muscle, skin and bone. And just as I need every bit of me to make my body fit, so Earth needs grass and stone and tree and things that grow here naturally. That's why we celebrate this day. That's why across the world we say, as long as life as dear as free, I am the earth and the earth is me. <laughs> Amazing, I don't know what you do to respond to that poem. Um, but I thought that was very lovely and a nice little reminder. Uh, so that officially concludes our forest bathing walk. A couple more things that I'd like to share with y'all is that I do events weekly, not necessarily forest bathing, but I do a weekly event called Adult Recess. Um, this was definitely a very mindful kind of meditational, wow, look at the moon. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there, we can be thankful for that. <laughs> Uh, um, but in a much more playful sense, I love to also get people together to be outside, to move their bodies, to meet people, um, and a way that's for the purpose of fun. So I am, I've been doing adult research for like a year and any and everyone is invited. So if you want to get outside to play and meet new people, it's a great opportunity to do so. Um, that's every Saturday at 1230. Uh, so you can definitely get with me. I'll give you some more info on that. Um, also, I'm starting a newsletter as I do a lot of different events around Austin, um, have a lot of different offerings. If you want to be uh, joined on my newsletter, that be joined, don't say anything English, 
teacher over here. Be, be a part, be, if you want to join my newsletter, um, you can scan this QR code and it'll have like a little registration. I think the QR code says for adult recess, but at the bottom you can say, yes, I want your newsletter. No, I don't. And honestly, I don't really have it too much together right now, so you're not going to be spammed. It's me just trying to get my own uh, personal pursuits off the ground. Um, but with that said, Connecting people with nature and getting people outside is my biggest passion, and I'm really working to do that as much as possible. So these events that I do are donation-based, so whatever you would like to donate, uh, very much appreciated, and that money goes towards me helping other people get outside and connect with nature, um, which I think is really important. So I'll have a QR code on my phone for my Venmo if you'd like to scan it, you may, otherwise cash is okay as well, but also just telling your friends to come to force bathing and to come play at recess is also enough support as well, so whatever you feel. Um, these are gluten-free, by the way. They are like a coffee, coconut, energy bite, and then these have some dates and different nuts, um, both gluten-free, uh, but definitely not nut-friendly. But um, everyone may help yourself. I'm gonna actually pass these around. I do have some hand sanitizer.